Let's get that PS5 in this bag. Traveling with a PS5 is not ideal. It's big, it's heavy, and it's got those big fragile flaps. Now G-Story has designed a bag specifically for the PlayStation 5. They also have an Xbox Series S and X version, which I have also reviewed on this channel, linked in the description below. And this perfectly holds your console in a nice padded compartment, as well as specific compartments for your DualSense controllers, your cables, a couple games, and any accessories you might have. Just be ready to fight people to the death at the airport because, well, this bag clearly has a PS5 in it. All right, so in order for this to be a raw review, we need to go ahead and remove protection from the equation. In this case, this bag here, which is a nice little dust cover. You guys can keep that in your closet or something in case you ever want to package up this bag. So exactly as with the Xbox Series S and X bag, which I have reviewed from G Story, they also sent this one out to me. Thank you, gentlemen. This is a fine product that definitely serves a purpose and solves a problem, which would be traveling with these new consoles safely and securely. You have these rubberized feet on the bottom here, all the hardware, including the pull tabs, which by the way are emblazed or embossed with their logo. And then also these straps over here, these are all metal or some type of stamped aluminum, not plastic. So that is awesome as those would be a point of failure. So opening up the side compartment right here, you have a shoulder strap here. It is going to be white since this is for the white PlayStation 5 as where they were green on the Xbox version. Again, all aluminum hardware on this bad boy and it is adjustable. Now in here you have two compartments. These are for DualSense controllers and they are, and they are perfectly fit for the dimensions of the DualSense and they are padded as well. And there's also some nice juicy padding in here. Now this is the compartment where your PS5 is gonna go. As you can tell, it is padded on all sides, which is awesome. You know your console is gonna be snug as a bug for its travels. That's an annoying noise. You also have a couple of slots here for discs, uh, five of them to be exact. One, two, three, four, five. Had to make sure I know how to count properly. And uh, again, the same issue that I mentioned on the Series S and X bag, just a little point of improvement for their second version or iteration of this product. You should have some kind of a nylon strap or Velcro that can secure the disc in here because since this is uh, slick vinyl and not like a not like an elastic that'll hold the disc in firm, I can easily see discs sliding out of here and, and wander in the yard, so to speak, inside this bag here. Now in this large compartment right here, which again is additional storage for accessories, i.e. that is particularly, particularly for, that is for your cable, so your HDMI, your power cable, and then also if you have any accessory cables, they will go in there. And then you also have a little rubber or silicone, what the hell? So this is the wrong model that they shipped here. This is for the Xbox Series S and X controller, which is good for the Series S and X bag, but for the PlayStation bag, you need the PlayStation sleeve. Not a big deal though, because not a lot of people are gonna use this anyway, but it is nice you threw that in there. Now the thumbstick caps that they include with the PlayStation 5 version are nicer and more supple and also a little bit taller or higher than the version on the Series S and X bag, which are nice. I would probably actually use these. If we're gonna put a PS5 in a bag, we need to have our PS5 present. All right, I know, I know, I use the snap trick twice in the same video, cardinal sin in the YouTube handbook, but anyway, these fingers get a click in and the editing starts sticking, you know what I mean? So the PlayStation 5 is uh, far from an ideal console to travel with for a couple of reasons. One, the dimensions, it's big and it's heavy. Two would be the design of it with these panels here. These pop off, they're designed to pop off, so you can do things like, well, vinyl wrap them, put skins on there, or even hydro dip them or paint them yourself, or replace them with a company like Dbrand's option. But these are, these could easily be snapped off. If you were to drop your console and it's just in a non-padded backpack or something, these could easily snap off and then you have to get replacements. And Sony, as of now, does not make a license replacement. You would have to go to the aftermarket for those. But this bag remedies that issue by padding everything incredibly well and also um, being cut to the exact internal dimensions of the console. So let's put it in the bag. So step one, you need a PlayStation 5 console. If you're able to complete step one, well, you're winning in life right now because these things are virtually impossible to get. Which brings me to a little side point or bar since this says for PlayStation 5 on it with a logo of a PS5 and people see you walking around the airport with this, just get ready for a fight. Make sure you got your brass knuckles on you, you snuck them up your butt through TSA security because um, you know, you're gonna be getting more prone to getting jacked with this bag because well, <laughs> it's holding a PS5. Most likely, if you're traveling with your PS5, you are not letting that out of your sight. That is staying with you as carry-on. And then you carry on with your day. So you're gonna wanna remove your side stand if you do put your console on its horizontal positioning. It's just held on by gravity and while well, being snapped on. If you have it in its vertical orientation, it will be slid like that. And there is a screw you need to remove from the bottom. And then you drop your console in here like this. And it perfectly, does it perfectly? Yeah, it does. 
and it perfectly wraps around your console. And then you put your cords and cables in here. If you have some disc-based games, you can put them in there. Drop that down. Then you pop a couple of DualSense controllers in here, and you have additional space if you want to store some dirty magazines or something. This is a heavy console. You're probably not going to want to lug it around with one hand. You're going to want it mounted on your shoulder. Now, I will say the hand straps are incredibly nice. They are padded, and this is a leather material which unbuttons in case you want to wrap it up like that, like a nice little present. Not that any of us were getting PS5s for presents this Christmas. All right, we need a little more slack in this bad boy. Cut me some friggin' slack. There we go. We're ready to travel with our PS5s, guys. So overall, traveling with a PS5 is not ideal. You'd probably be better off going with something like the Series S or a gaming laptop for traveling, uh, gaming travel on the go. However, you can travel with a PlayStation 5. You're gonna be away from the home for an extended period of time. You probably don't wanna go too long without your great white unicorn. And G-Story has definitely made an accessory that is specifically for this need. So thanks again to G-Story for sending this bad boy out. I'm gonna go swing my PS5 around in this bag and do a little durability test with it. If you guys enjoyed the video, smack in the like button is free, takes three seconds and helps the video to be seen by more people, which in turn helps me grow this little channel, which I do greatly appreciate, guys. Subscribe for more content like this. I cover a slew of news in the gaming community and industry. I don't know why I use the word slew, but a lot of gaming news. And I also do a lot of honest product reviews like this one here and tutorials helping you get set up streaming and YouTubing. See you guys in the next video. Peace.